Chief Meteorologist Ashley Gann is tracking Nestor here in the Storm Team Weather Center. Yeah, not a lot of people on the beach today as we revisit <laughs> Gulf Shores, this time looking at the rain there in the parking lot just off the beach and the wind starting to pick up. Look at the trees there beginning to kind of sway in the wind, although wind speeds not as uh, intense as we're generally seeing with a lot of these tropical systems, but definitely making for a gray day. Here's where Nestor is now. Let me tell you the changes we've seen over the last 12 hours. This has taken a sharp turn to the east, and that actually has brought down the threat just slightly across the coast of Alabama. So we did have tropical storm warnings this time yesterday. Those are no longer, but the panhandle of Florida is still dealing with the tropical storm warnings as they could likely see that tropical storm force win. And this is likely to make its move through kind of the bend of Florida there, anywhere between Apalachicola down towards Tampa. And that's where we're also going to see the heaviest rainfall. But here's what we're going to see in Alabama. Rain chances have actually gone down because of the curve of this system kind of moving off to the east now. Tallahassee could see upwards of two inches of rain, about an inch and a half in Savannah with heavy rainfall through the Carolinas. But again, Alabama will kind of enter into the drier side of this storm system, and that means limited rain chances for us this weekend. But more storms next week. I'll be breaking that down for you ahead in your storm team seven-day forecast.